Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 54 of the Derby County Currymon series and in today's episode we are going to be signing two midfielders and a centre back and also guys if this video could reach 40 likes I would really appreciate it. I know it's a lot of likes but I bet you guys can help me reach that goal but anyways as you can see we are going to be signing two midfielders and my preferred choices are Daniel Amati and Sergi Roberto and if we can't sign Roberto we'll go for Davy Klaassen but I don't think we'll be able to sign Roberto because he'll be too expensive but as you can see I'm going in for a loan offer for Jonathan Tarr. Also in the last episode I asked you all for you know uh, dropping some suggestions to sign a player and you guys suggested a lot of strikers but I'm not looking for any striker right now and I'll probably sign a striker in the January transfer window once we get money from the Champions League and all but for now we'll be signing two midfielders and a centre back. As you can see I'm inquiring for Ander Herrera. I think we can get him for like uh, 20 million but that'll be too expensive so we need to get it down to like 15 million. I mean if we, I mean if we could sign Ander Herrera for like 12 to 15 million that would be a great deal. The same with Klaassen and Amati. Amati probably maybe 12 million I think that would be a good deal so I'm just gonna go with 10 million and see what their club comes back with. The same I have done for Davy Klaassen. I hope they accept it because Klaassen is a fantastic player but I really want to sign Sergio Roberto as well and Barcelona I want 29 and a half million so well I don't think we're gonna get Sergio Roberto also I tried loaning him out as well but that didn't work out so well Sergio Roberto won't be joining the club and I'm putting in a 12 million offer for Ander Herrera but, uh, well, I don't think he'll accept it. But anyways, Real Madrid have accepted the loan offer for Jonathan Tarr. We're going to be signing him, guys, on loan. This is the last season, so it doesn't matter really if you have signed him on a permanent deal or loan. And also, Ajax have accepted the offer for Klaas. And he's a fantastic midfielder, 24 years old. He'll fit into the team perfectly. I think he's got high, high work rates, which fit perfectly to the way we play. And also, Daniel Amati is on the... I mean... Uh, Copenhagen have accepted the transfer offer for Daniel Amati so we can get him for like 10 million 40,000 euros per week that's uh, fantastic guys because his wages are low and we'll have enough money to sign a new player in the January transfer window and as you can see right here we have signed Davy Klaassen from Ajax what a signing this is guys he's going to fit perfectly in the team obviously he's not as good as Sergio Roberto but he can still prove himself and maybe he could just be better than Sergio Roberto and as you can see right here we have signed Daniel Amati as well what a signing that is as you can see Klaassen stats some really amazing stats look at his sprint speed 74 all in his 70s and all yellows and greens here which is pretty good in fact more greens here he's got good long shots as well short passing short power all are good he's gonna be fantastic for us and also high high work rate will fit perfectly into this team and 5'11 he's got the fin finesse shot trait which is good to see and that's just one of our signings guys, we have also signed other players like Daniel Amati, 85 sprint speed, oh my god, 88 stamina, this guy is just a beast, he'll probably be on the bench for Chiku Kuyate, we'll rotate these two players, he can also play centre back which is amazing, he's got that height as well, 6 foot, he's a long shot taker. So we can just bang in some goals with him. Jonathan Tarr also is a great player. He has 74 rated. He'll probably replace Shotten on the bench. Because Shotten wants to leave the club. He's not been getting that much time. So that's good to see that we have sold an old player. And we've gotten a young player. And we have not sold Shotten yet. We'll probably sell him later on. But as you can see right here. Sunderland have come in for an offer of 1.6 million for Craig Bryson. Yeah, We're going to be countering it with 2 million. And well Sunderland have accepted that. And now guys it's time to play our game in the uh, I think that was community shields final against Arsenal also to have a look at the results in the uh, preseason we won we won just one game but we drew the rest that doesn't matter really because we played our second team in the ones we drew but now it's time to face Arsenal in the community shields final we got here because we won the league last season and it's a chance for us to win our first trophy of the season hopefully this will not be the last one only the first one as you can see we are playing at the Wembley Stadium against Arsenal I think this is the only the third or fourth time we are playing in the Wembley in fact, it's the third time once we played in the Capital One Cup semi-finals and once I think in the uh, I'm not sure if we played in the Capital One Cup uh, semi-finals here, but we did play here in the Capital One Cup final. Not to talk about that right now, as Davy Klaassen had a great chance to score, but his shot is saved by their goalkeeper. Here is, he is again, but the ball falls to Daniel Amati, who can bang those goals in, but his shot goes just above the crossbar, and after 10 minutes, it's still nil-nil. But now we have a chance here. Victor Moses placing the ball to Danny Ings here, who goes past Gabriel Barbosa. A Paulista, not Barbosa. I don't know why did I say Barbosa. But anyways, uh, Danny Ings plays in the ball to Adam Atraore, whose shot is somehow saved by the goalkeeper. But now we have a chance here as Danny Ings placing the ball to Davy Klaassen here, 
who plays it into Adama Traore. And after 25 minutes, he crosses the ball into Danny Ings, who said hits the post. One more thing, guys. We have been dominating Arsenal in this game for the first 30 minutes or so. And after 60 minutes, it's still nil-nil. We've had the better chances. They have barely any chances. It's time to bring on someone like Chika Kuyate. We don't want to concede a late goal, guys. So we just want to keep it defensively strong. And that's it, guys. We're going to into penalties now. And Arsenal just had one shot. Even that was off target. So we were definitely the better side. And it's now time for penalties. It's going to be Santi Cazorla to take the first penalty for Arsenal. Yes, Santi Cazorla to take it. Can Jack Butlin be the hero? Yes, he can. What an insane save from our goalkeeper, Jack Butlin. It's Victor Moses to take our penalty. And he slots it home. A great penalty from Victor Moses. Now to Welbeck to take it. It's well back. Can he score? And unfortunately, he does score. Butlin dived the wrong way. Now it's Danny Ings. And Danny Ings scores. He's not going to miss any penalties, guys. He's not missed a single penalty for me. It's Joel Campbell. And now uh, I thought the goalkeeper saved that. Uh, well, anyways, now it's Musa Sissoko to take the penalty. And he scores as well. Now it's Ramsey. Ramsey takes it. Uh, Butlin dives the right way. But the ball was a bit too far for him. It's Zuma to take it. And Zuma scores. We really don't have good penalty takers right now. And they have some quality ones. But it's Ozil to take it. And he scores as well. Now, guys, it's Grimaldo. Can he score this one? It'll be the winner. We'll win the Community Shield if he does score. And he does score, guys. We have won the Community Shield, guys. In a really dramatic fashion here. But unfortunately, there isn't any celebrations. Don't understand why. But anyways, we have won it, guys. The first of many, hopefully. And in the next episode, we'll be simming all these games because we're only going to be playing the Champions League games because we won the league last season. So we don't want to play the league. The reason being is also, guys, FIFA 16 is just around the corner. And also, guys, we'll have a look at our Champions League group next uh, in the next episode. And also, this is our team right now. It's a fantastic team. We do have some money left to make signing. So if you guys want me to make any signing right now, do let me know down in the comments below. I would prefer to save this money up and use it once we get uh, funds from the Champions League. Apart from that, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you guys have, don't forget to leave a like. Do subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in one of my next videos.